Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Road to Oklahoma City 2016. Um, first of all, I really want to start off this week by thanking so many people, in fact, uh, so many of uh, my viewers, um, but also uh, people who follow me on Facebook. Um, I, I've been inundated this week with, with well wishes for my wife, and um, she had surgery on Monday, hence why we didn't have an episode last week, unfortunately. Things just got too busy. Um, at, and and I can report now that she's she's um, on the road to recovery. Uh, she's doing much better, um, and and so um, really pleased with that, and just very grateful for everybody's comments on that. Um, so this week we're back. Um, I, I managed to get um, some work done. Unfortunately, I started my next master's class. I started teaching my classes as well this week. Plus, I was nursing my wife, um, so. It was a very busy week, but I did manage to fit some time in on Saturday to get work done so that I had something um, for today. So um, let's start off. I, I wanted to um, start off by talking about the game itself. Now, uh, next year at Oklahoma City, um, that they're doing a, a kind of a theme throughout all of the games that are going to be going on. Um, and, and because it's, I think, the weekend of Father's Day, we decided that we were going to do kind of a theme about men of war, you know, men and, and kind of their role and, and big important ones. And um, so, for example, I, I believe and I hope I'm not giving anything away here, but um, I believe there's, there's going to be um, a, a kind of a game using Hell Caesar, which is kind of based on the, the Battle of uh, Thermopylae. I probably pronounced that wrong and embarrassed myself, but um, it, essentially, if you've seen the film Three Hundred, where that you know it's the Persian army trying to break through the, the Spartan line, um, that that's the idea behind the game. So obviously, uh, the kind of figure, the character for that game would be King Leonidas. So it got me thinking. You know, I haven't really based this on a particular battle. Um, it's more of a kind of to get a feel of the general defences of the French, the Belgians and the BEF, the British Expeditionary Force in, uh, in, in northern France. And so I was trying to think, well, uh, I could do Rommel and I may very well do Rommel because obviously he was involved with the, the Panzers um, in France um, and where he really made a name for himself and actually led to him getting promoted. But I also thought back to a couple of weeks ago when I did a, an episode of The Road to Oklahoma City and I was looking at um, my Victoria Cross's book and you may mention that I read an, uh, 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 a small account of a second lieutenant Richard Annand um, and about his, his ventures in, in northern France um, in the defence in 1940 um, and about a bridge. Now my British forces are going to have to defend a bridge and I was thinking about this as I was looking at my uh, my British Expeditionary Force figure uh, just these last couple of days I thought what if I, and I know this guy's got a moustache and Richard Annan didn't but what if this guy was second lieutenant Richard Annan and, and I based my my um, game around him so I might do him on the, on the allied side and I might do Rommel on the uh, on the German side uh, and kind of go from there um, so that's my thoughts at the moment. Um, I may very well write up a history, uh, kind of a, a brief history about him and maybe have his account in there uh, to go um, with my game. So, so that's, uh, that's what I thought I would report on this week and, and kind of try to tie in with the game a little bit more. Um, and hopefully as we get through more and more of the train, I'm going to start looking at some armies a bit more as well, particularly when I start getting more painted. Um, that is going to be one of my... Uh, goals to do um, but uh, I will be ordering in the next couple of weeks I believe um, the uh, civilians for my game um, so keep your eyes posted um, for them entering the picture um, I will be doing a product review um, of the figures that, that are coming from footsore miniatures okay so keep your eyes out for that Anyway, I think it's a bit of time. Well, I think it is time uh, to to see what progress we've made this week. So uh, let's take a look at the town hall first. Okay, guys. So uh, we have uh, the town hall, which um, pretty much complete. Um, I I have very little left to do on it. 
Um, so I'm very happy, very happy indeed. Um, you'll remember that the roof was, uh, or the, the slope roof part was separate to the, the, the base of the roof. It is now one piece. Okay. Um, did have a slight issue with it. Um, I think when I stippled it with the, on it, stippled it with the um, filler, it is pulled it up a little bit and it has bowed. I've tried to flatten it out. Um, it hasn't, it, it's not flat. Um, you may be able to see on this side a bit of a gap. However, um, at a distance, it, it doesn't make a lot of difference. Um, and I, I really haven't got time to be rebuilding it. Um, certainly don't want to rebuild it. So um, that's how it's going to be. So I, I, I've done that. Um, the floors now are all stuck together. So they are one single piece. The rooms uh, have floorboards down. They're all painted uh, and all is well. Um, something that I added to the base, um, I obviously put the pillars in and painted those up. And the back, it's got the door ones painted up. And you may notice in the hallway, uh, I didn't want to do floorboards, so I've just done a, a brown floor uh, with um, a blue sort of rug kind of carpet job. Um, so that looks pretty good. I was wondering about maybe putting uh, doors on the inside where the door should be, but um, to be honest, I'm not too bothered about that. Um, you know the doors are there because they're, they're here. Oh, sorry, here. Uh, and obviously that, that corresponds. Um, you know, and once figures are in the building, it's it's not really a big deal. Um, what you know, what you can see on the inside. So that that's kind of my thoughts on that. Now, um, oh, it would help if I put that the right way around. There we go. Okay, so I decided to put um, it on a base, and I, I cut out some card, and I, I I sanded the whole thing. I used a glue um, water fifty fifty mix. Um, and unfortunately I left it to dry and the next morning I came, uh, the, the, the back and the front had bowed up. Um, I was not happy in the slightest and uh, decided I wasn't going to waste any more time on it. So uh, what I decided to do was to uh, make some small bases uh, with some fence. Now you might be able to see the rings on there. Um, they are actually going to have, uh, I found these at Walmart, some really little link chains. Uh, and they're literally going to go uh, between between the fence posts. Okay, so you have a chain link fence. Okay, and I've got two pieces. And I'll do that. I have a path down the middle um, with the, the fence. And, and that shows it's important. Um, to be honest, uh, this is good. I can use these in other places. Uh, but I really haven't got the time to be dealing with the base. Um, and I think for the purposes of the game, I think that'll be absolutely fine. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Um, now I've got the system in place with uh, how to do the interlocking floors. I'm going to crack on with the, the townhouses and hopefully get those done quite soon. Um, maybe a little bit taller than this, uh, but certainly nowhere near as wide. So, um, so I'm really pleased. So, um, let's take a look at the bridge. Okay. So, uh, we've got the bridge now. Um, I knew uh, last time I think I showed you this the front was done of one side and I'd um, done the, uh, the, the inking um, and it's got this lovely weathered effect. Now what I want to do next um, and, and this is only going to be a very quick little experiment is to put a little bit of green ink um, around the bases of the, the two pillars on either side just to show a bit of algae kind of from the river um, getting up onto the bridge. Um, I have gone and I have painted the top of the side that I'd already done and the back and inside the different alcoves. I also started on the other side, um, the yellow, because I'd made so much of uh, so much of the paint, I, I decided to start making uh, just painting. Um, I've got up to this point, I've got to do the inside the alcove on this part and the rest of this on both the inside and the outside. Okay, and then I've got to color in the bits in the middle, blend them, ink them, um, and, then, and obviously the green ink on the bottom, 
and then I'll be ready to do the, the road with the uh, the grey stuff um, and imprinting it so it makes it look like cobblestone. So I've got quite a bit to do on that, but I'm hoping, um, as I said, that I could get a couple of hours one evening this week to finish the painting. I should get this done in a couple of hours. Um, once I've done that, I will start using the grey stuff. I'll roll it out um, and start indenting it. And that's probably going to... Well, I know it's going to take a while um, because I, what I need to do is do the whole thing at once and I need to, once I've rolled it all out, I need to make sure that I am imprinting it fairly quickly because it will start to dry. Now, the imprinting, I'm hoping, should take somewhere between half an hour and an hour to do. That might be a bit generous. That I, I might need more time than that. But in terms of the setting, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Um, once it is dry, and that will probably, I'll leave it overnight to dry, I'm then going to give it an undercoat of black, do a, a, a second coat of a dark grey, and then I'm going to dry brush with a light grey over the top. Um, and, and, I'll, and I'll do the, uh, the inside of the alcoves as well. Okay, so uh, I will put uh, grey stuff down inside these as well. Okay. And then that part of the bridge, that's the bridge pretty much done. Then it's just about putting the base out, doing the waterworks um, and, and, and generally making it look like a, like it, it's on a river. Um, and I, I, I think that bit will be really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. It should be very enjoyable. Um, I've got to check out whether I've got some board that isn't bowed. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go with what I've got. Um, so it, it, we'll wait and see on that. Um, I'd like to say that the road's going to be done by next Monday. Um, so fingers crossed on that um, and then probably the following week I'll get the, the, the base down on the river I don't know whether I'll make a start on the townhouses or not uh, this week because I want to focus on the bridge maybe the following week I will um, we'll wait and see um, obviously I, I need to get things ro rolling I certainly need to draw out some preliminary pre preliminary sketches um, uh, as to, to the scale and, and the shapes and the sizes and stuff like that. So um, I certainly will get started on that and hopefully start cutting soon, um, ready to uh, to put the townhouse together. I also need to set this back out and measure and see um, how many I want, what I want them to look like. Um, it's going to be a built up town, so I need to create that and, and have a think about what I want to include to get that feel in it. So that's it for this week guys um please you know uh like share and comment um I, I do have a question and if if anybody can put some feedback for this that would be great uh, in terms of the chain link fencing i'm not sure whether to make the ground there as like a gravelly kind of sand um like it's it kind of is on the path stopping people going on the grass or do i just uh grass it over and make it look like the 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 fences set into the grass rather than on the path so if you've got some thoughts on that please uh, let me know I'd be very grateful for that um, and until uh, obviously on Thursday we'll have the um, product review we'll we'll be moving on to I go for some Russians this week maybe maybe um, so obviously Thursday for the next show um, uh, but if not we'll see you next Monday for the next uh, next episode in the road to Oklahoma City 2016. Have a great week and I'll see you then. Take care.